You know, it is, boy, it is great. God bless Brother Mike Ferguson. We appreciate him today. And Kathy and everyone's come out. And uh, Kath, uh, Sister Tracy, God bless Tracy and Brother Jonathan. You know, I thank God. And uh, we need to announce Thursday night our youth services at 6 o'clock. We've changed it. And uh, I know some might have got there a little late, but I fear you would be there at 7. <laughs> And we'll be there, you know. But we had a great time. We started last Thursday at 6, and we got our kids home, you know, in time around 8.30, quarter to 9, somewhere in there. So we weren't too late. But, but uh, we want you to bring your youth out. If you see any kids uh, walking down the highway, just bring them, you know. Just bring all the, all the youth you can and your neighbors. And if your neighbors got kids, bring them. And, and we've got a lot of youth, and we're expecting great things. Uh, Brother Ronnie Johnson preached uh, youth. Uh, a few nights of meeting for us and done done a great job and and we uh, we look forward to being in service with them again, Brother Mike, and uh, come out to a tent meeting uh, next this Saturday coming next it'll be Saturday night next Saturday at six o'clock at Lorraine Hammonds's house on 229 and it's close to Crossroads, a little caution light there and the Crossroads Grocery and all that that used to be. And if you're going toward Barwitz, uh, t about two or three houses down, there be a signs out and stuff. And, and she may even have coffee, you know, coffee and water, you know, and a soda pop maybe. But, but just come out and be a part of that. And Brother Mike will be there and uh, Brother Jimmy and Brother Junior and, and uh, Sister Ann. I, you know, I trust they're there and Martha and them. And yeah. We had an opportunity to be in service with Brother Mike uh, quite a few times in the last couple of years. And each time uh, he's a great blessing. Yeah. And he is a... Uh, uh, people, there's people that will add to you and then people that take away and he has added to us and he's always a blessing to us and Sister Mackenzie gave Mackenzie that song Forgiven and, and I reckon you know gives uh, Kathy some uh, soundtracks and different stuff and he's, he has added to us mightily. God bless you Brother Mike and uh, he'll, he'll do you good and we appreciate him Brother Jimmy the evangelist Jimmy Smith appreciate him and, and Sandy and their family have blessed our church and we uh, we sure thank God for them. If you have your Bible let's go to Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 and we're going to be looking at some things and and God wants us to be strong in him today and, and folks we cannot be if we don't study the word. We've got to be people of faith reading a commentary uh, today and it's talking about a little fellow said he's in service the man of God was preaching the word of God and he said I will not believe and said he preached right on again and said, I will not believe. And said the third time, I refuse to believe. And said as he is leaving, said the word of God against prophecy came forth and says, so you shall be dumb and not able to speak. And said they followed him home. And sure enough, his wife said he come home and says he wrote on a tablet. Said I refuse to believe and now I cannot and I cannot speak. So it's important today that we believe the Word of God. It, the Word of God is a sure foundation. And if we're founded upon it, it will not be swished here and there. It said, not be tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine, by the slay of men, and cunning craftiness whereby they lay in wait to deceive. But folks, we need to be mighty in the Word. There's only one way to heaven. There's only one Jesus, and I know uh, there's a lot of different religions, different things, teaching different ways, but I'm here to tell you that even in Paul's day, he said, I hear that there's another gospel, but I'm here to tell you there is no other gospel but of Jesus Christ. He said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life. He said, I am the door. He said, no man can go to the Father but by me. So it's important that we trust in Jesus today, the name I depend upon, the name I call upon. He said, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his mind and put on the whole armor of God. If there's ever a time that we need to be suited up and armored up, it's the day that we're living in. And God wants us to be mighty in him. Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And, and I saw in Joshua 1 and 8 it says, Take this book of law shall not depart out of your mouth. But you shall meditate both day and night, so shall you make your way to prosper. We're living in a time that we want to prosper, we want to have success. But here the Lord Jesus uh, told Joshua, said, you must meditate upon the Word of God. You know, today, almost every day for 30 years now, almost 30 years, just a few days be 30 years. 
that we've took it, the Word of God and meditated upon it, read it, and, and tried to eat it up, tried to, you know, to make it a part of who we are. And, and folks, if we'll believe the Word, even as a young Christian, you know, we're saying God would, it says signs will follow those that believe. I must be a believer because we've seen a lot of signs follow. Seen people saved. You know, God would heal some of the Baptist folks, some of the Christian folks. We had a, a little fellow laying on the floor one time, Brother Mike, and, and he's, in, he's, he's down in his back laying in the floor, and I said, can I pray for you? And he said, you can pray when you get home. <laughs> And I said, but can I pray for you? He said, you can pray when you get home. And I said, well, you ain't going nowhere. So I got down the floor and prayed for him. <laughs> He's in his 80s today and still doing well. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Monday, Shatay. To be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. To Joshua said, if you want to be prosperous, if you want to have good success, to meditate upon God's word both day and night. To be strong is to know the word of God, to stand and remind God of every promise.